Health officials are getting creative in how they convince hesitant Americans to get the COVID vaccine. According to the CDC, the daily average for vaccinations has dropped 20% since the start of the month. A worrying trend. Omar Villafranca is following this for us in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Omar, good morning to you. In West Virginia, they will actually give you a $100 savings bond if you get the shot. What incentives are being offered there where you are? Well, Tony, they're still doing mass vaccination sites like this one here behind me, but for some people, it's just not convenient. So they're doing things like shots for shots. And think of that as a vodka for a vaccine at the bar. And they're having to get creative because less than one third of Louisiana's population has received the first dose. Where did you get your first shot? I got it at a local bar. <laughs> 23-year-old Brandon Bro went to a bar with friends and ended up vaccinated. It was a shot for shot nights. In Baton Rouge, the Shots for Shots program is run by Relief, a telehealth company. The Shots program came to this bar on Tuesday night where bartender Curtis Johnson had a shot waiting for him. Moderna, straight from the syringe. Why didn't you go to a vaccination site or a doctor's office? Well, the convenience is what spoke to me most today. The fact that it's literally five feet away from me. I work late nights. I've either just never found the time or just been too exhausted to go out. That type of convenience makes a difference in reaching the unvaccinated, says Relief CEO Vishal Vasanji. People trust people that they're familiar with. And so, you know, if we're friends, I could come to you and say, hey, the process was easy. Here's what it is. And it might get you one step closer to getting vaccinated. But success varies by night. At Soji, only a handful of people got the shot. Do these type of events help, even if it's just a few people? They do. They absolutely do. Dr. Joseph Cantor is the Louisiana State Health Officer. Right now, his state is administering less than 70% of the first doses delivered from the federal government. We're taking the kitchen sink approach here. No idea is bad. Every idea is worth considering. Cantor says when it comes to the vaccine hesitant, most are not against vaccination. Most people just have questions. They're on the fence, they wanna talk it out, they wanna wait and see. It's all about empowering trusted messengers in communities. Cantor says the best messenger tends to be people's own doctors. Okay. And that's the case for 42-year-old Katie Oligood, okay. who has yeah. not gotten vaccinated. Are you a hard no? No, I'm not a hard no. You're not a hard I'm no? I'm not a hard no. I was a hard no initially. I believe in science and I believe in masks. I just don't know how I feel about the vaccine. I don't get flu shots, but our kids are fully vaccinated, so it's not that. So that's just kind of where I am. State health officials admit that people are tired of hearing from the government telling them to come get a shot. So now they're trying to move their message to new people, church leaders, so they can get that message on Sunday and the Saturday football faithful. They want to get people involved with LSU football to try to get that message out. Keep in mind, LSU football and SEC football is pretty big down here in Louisiana. Anthony? Got to meet people where they are, Omar, and sometimes they are in a bar. <laughs> <They> <laughs> Thanks, are Omar. Bar. <laughs> as long as the bartender's not giving the shots.